Hi, my name is Naomi Joy. Today's rebounder workout is a beginner, low impact, high intensity interval cardio routine. Just a heads up that my beginner workouts are still gonna give you a great sweat. They're just less complex and shorter than my other videos. We have nine exercises, which we will be repeating two times back to back, working for 45 seconds with 15 seconds of active recovery. My talented friend Anushka will be joining me today. And what's special about this video is that I'll be featuring her single in the playlist. Make sure you watch for that and you can access her song in the video right up. If you enjoy the class, then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to support. Let's warm up. Chin is in, shoulders are away from ears, belly button hugs to spine. Lift your right arm up, lean to your left, switch. We're twisting hands to shoulders, right, left. One more time, breathe. Basic bounce. We have a slight hinge at the hips, knees are bent, there's weight in the heels. We're pushing down, that is the workout. We're not bouncing up, we're pushing down. Lift your arms up, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together as the arms pull down. Elbows are high, and we're continuously squeezing the upper back. Reach your arms overhead, palms forward as the arms pull down, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together and down your back. Fists come up, we're punching forward with power and energy. To get the most out of this workout, we wanna be out of breath by the end of the 45 seconds. We wanna flex the core and upper body to make this happen and push down. Now we're gonna practice our footwork coming into heel taps. Flex your foot, spread your toes in your shoe. Make sure that on your standing leg, you're always bent through your knee and your weight is in your heel. Keep your chest open. Now the foot is flat for a scissor step. Arms are moving athletically forward and back. With this slight hinge at the hip, we have more power for pushing down with our lower body. Toe taps, press the ball of your foot down into the rebounder. Jacking it out. Make sure you're not rolling in or out on the foot, but you're pushing down evenly through both sides with a little bit more weight in the heel. Now as you drive your knee up, watch that you're not bouncing up, but that you're pushing down in the standing foot. Throughout the workout, focus on keeping your core tight, Flex the upper body, keep pushing down, and know that you can take a break at any time. Just do your best. Here's our first move. We're working our obliques in this hip twist. Feet are shoulder width and your hips are moving in opposition to your upper body. Elbows are high and your core is tight. Remember to breathe. basic bounce and we're drawing a rainbow. <laughs> Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears and that you're pushing down into that rebounder. Beep, beep, I don't care about you I just care about me So you better run, run 
Scissor step with lat pull down. Push down through the four corners of your foot with a little more weight in the heel. As the arms pull down, squeeze your lats, which are under your armpits. Keep your core tight. Heel tap, palms face up. Flex your front foot, keep the standing knee bent. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as the arms pull back and lead with your thumb. Squeeze your inner thighs together. There's a slight hinge at the hips, knees are bent, and the weight is pushing back onto your heels. Give me lots of energy with those punches. Let's go. As you lift your knee, open your arms and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull in through your lower abs and push down with the standing foot. Most beginners will bounce up rather than down, so just be mindful of that. with the bicep curls. Flex your upper body and push down with the ball of the front foot. Keep your core tight and your chest open.
As you squat, push your weight back into your heels and press your knees out. Keep your chest up, your belly button in, and your spine straight. We're finishing circuit one with sprints, my favorite. I love finishing this way. Get your knees up, just move as fast as you can, push down into the rebounder, challenge yourself. You got this.
did it. You made it to the end of the workout. Fabulous job. We're going to cool down, lower your heart rate, take more time if you need, and we're going to meet for a cool down stretch coming up next. We're going to start with a hip flexor stretch. We'll step the right knee back to the trampoline. Square your hips, tuck your tailbone under by engaging the lower abs. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms forward and up, lengthening through the sides of your waist. Breathe. Release, and now we're gonna take a stretch to the left. Reach through your fingertips. Breathe into the side body. Release, and we'll step forward, switching sides. Square your hips, tuck the tailbone under, flip the palms forward and lift to sky. Take our side stretch over to the right towards your front leg. Release. We'll step forward and now we'll sit down onto the rebounder. We're going to bring the feet to touch. Hold your ankles, lift your chest, spine is straight, and we're going to bow forward. Stretching the hips and the lower back. Breathe into your side ribs. And we're gonna walk over to one side, maybe reaching down for the leg of the trampoline. Root down through your opposite sit bone. Switching sides. Now we'll come back to center. And we'll come into a cross-legged position for a twist. Lift your right arm up and twist to your left. Both sit bones are rooting down, chest is lifted, spine is straight. Release and switch sides. Let's finish now with a neck stretch, chin in, tilt your ear to the side. Thank you so much for working out with us today. A reminder that you can access Anushka's song in the video right up. If you enjoyed the class, remember to give it a thumbs up. We'll switch sides. To support my work, please share my video and make sure to subscribe. Release. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you at your next workout.